exercise, I want to show you first what I recommend you not do and then what I recommend you do. So oftentimes with this one, you'll see people will start with their weights, kettlebells or dumbbells, which you can use either, but they'll start with them wide apart. Now, particularly with dumbbells, that's a challenge because the intention is then that you hop or step forward with your feet aligning between the weights, right? And particularly with dumbbells, since they're so much lower to the floor rather than kettlebells, it's putting you in this rounded back position. Now, if you can get out of that rounded back and lift from this depth, right, then that's great. And you can powerfully stand up. But what I see for most people is that that's probably going to be too challenging because they're so low, their back starts to round and they're lifting with a rounded spine. So to protect your back, Here's where I recommend that you start. Bring your weights closer together. Start in a plank position with your feet about hip width apart. Straighten your legs, squeeze your glutes, engage your core. Step or hop forward with your feet coming to the outside of your weights. Now from here, we do need to drive our hips back a bit, flatten out our back and lift our chest up so that we're lifting with a flat back. We'll press through our heels and we'll exhale as we powerfully and with control stand up. Now to reverse this, we'll inhale lower down, back is flat, step or hop to our starting position and repeat. Step or hop forward, stand it up, lower it down, hop it back. At no point am I losing the engagement through my core, so that's really important. Take your time with this, move through it step by step, and as you get more comfortable, you can start to move faster and faster.